Are you a wannabe commentary YouTuber but your thumbnails look like this? Well fret not because today I am going to teach you how to take your thumbnail game from dad to mother. Uninstall Photoshop. Go to affinity.com and install Affinity Photo. Download a screenshot YouTube plugin from the Chrome Web Store. Head to YouTube and search for your favourite Yuki's Kid Fiddler. Open one of their videos relating to the topic of your video and search for a face suitable for a good expose thumbnail. Or you could just use uh, Google Images, but uh, they suck. Now it's time to actually make the thumbnail. Create a new project with a 16 by 9 ratio. Drag the screenshot into your project and start cutting. Cutting bro. There are multiple ways to do this but because this is a thumbnail and to save time, I'm just going to use the selection brush tool. Which was something I wrote in the script before I actually made the thumbnail and was a complete fucking lie. Once you're happy with your cut and refined it, it's time to add more assets. Usually this can include news articles, channel statistics, provided evidence or just the Trinity Nikola test. Start placing around what you want there, then like magic, you're now 50% done. Now on to the most important and difficult step, lighting. Create a new layer, grab whatever cool lighting you want and just start clicking where you want the lights to come from. Now click the thumbnail of your subject. This will create a selection of its outline and now make another layer. Now just start painting the edges of the colours you've chosen. Go to the blended modes channel and choose the one that you think looks best. Usually screen, add, soft light or colour should do the job. Effects are very important to give the piece detail and a non-shit looking thumbnail. To do this, just go to Google and search for some effects. Throw them anywhere in your project and just change your blending mode. You shouldn't overdo this or else it will make your piece look messy and non-pluckable. You can also still do some extras like giving your subject a glow, editing the background, etc. You're on the final step of becoming an epic gamer. Group the whole project. Don't forget to save if you haven't already. Duplicate the group and rasterize. Head over to the develop persona or the uh, camera wall filter in Photoshop if you're a degenerate and start finalizing the project and just fiddle around with these sliders. How would you look at that? It looks so much better. I know this wasn't a very in-depth tutorial, but I just needed something to edit since that's what I'm learning currently, so. If you like this, I guess, or like it, or don't, I don't care. If you like my piece, go check out my portfolio link in the description, and if you want more tutorials or just anything really, let me know. My speech is terrible, I know that. Oh my god, I, I can't read a script or anything, so... Don't hire me for voice acting. Anyway, see you fuckers. Hey.